some time with your family and if you're not hopefully spending some virtual time with them um so welcome to another episode of exploring the arts my name is kayla money brown if you don't know i'm new to the channel i also go by k money and in today's episode of exploring the arts we're going to be talking about something that i think is super 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 important and i find that a lot of people don't do this right off the back or either they um they don't do it at all um and i think it's very important to start now and get it start getting into the habit of doing this before you get further along the way because it's so much easier that is keeping track of everything and i literally mean everything i'm a super organized person so it just naturally comes to me but there are a lot of people who actually struggle with organizing themselves on the business side of being an artist and designer and remember when you go into the arts it's not just your artist but there's also the business side of it so that's what we're going to be talking about today and if you're new to the channel welcome my name is Kim Monet Brown um, I also go by Kim Monet um, which is the name that I use for my online store where I sell all my artwork and prints and handmade home decor accessories like these and also apparel now as well and I've been an artist professionally for the past four years but I've just been always creative and in the past four years or so I've just been attending a lot of exhibitions, art fairs, shows, figuring out what is good, what is bad, um, testing this out, testing that out. So that's what this channel is here for is to provide you guys all that I've learned over the past four years now professionally pursuing being an artist and designer. And trust me there are a lot, a lot, a lot of ups and downs and a lot of lessons learned along the way that I have to share with you all. And I feel like this is one of the big ones which is just keeping track of it all. So the first thing that we're going to talk about in today's episode is tracking inventory and why it's important to do it and what are some things that you would include in the excel sheet for tracking your inventory so the reason why you want to do an inventory tracking is because you might have a piece of artwork that's listed on your website but you might want to send it out or have sent it out to a submission for a gallery or a show or something of that sort. well you need to put that on the, on the excel sheet so that you can keep track of where it is and also so that you know like on your website you need to take it off temporarily um and then on top of that also just to keep track of where our sales are so having an inventory allows you to backtrack where you success so if you had sold a couple of pieces at a art fair and then you did a gallery show but you didn't really sell that many pieces then you kind of figure out oh okay maybe this is where I belong for my artwork and my crowd and things of that sort or um, better yet you know if you do end up selling a lot in the gallery then you know back to go back to that gallery again to see if they have anything available for you so those are some important things about tracking now, the things that you would want to include in the sheet would be a number one, a photo of your work. You will want to include the year it was made, the mediums, the size, um, and if you have any notes to go with it, which again would be if you have it out for an exhibition or something of that sort. And it will also include whether the piece was sold or not. And in my case, because I have prints, I also have an additional category on the side that allows me to pick out which pieces I want to have as print versus pieces that I want to sell. When it comes to tracking inventory for my merchandise that I make, I don't really have a list for that because it's open-ended, it's um, made to order, so these are things that are made um, when they are purchased. But if you are on the flip side of that, if you are a person who makes items and you to track it all then you can also use this excel sheet as an example as to how to keep track of everything as well because the worst thing to happen is to be able to sell somebody something that doesn't exist <laughs> so you definitely want to make sure that you have it all written down the next part of keeping track of everything is contracts and this is something that i have been preached to by my mother and my grandmother my whole family um because black and white is your best defense if anything fingers crossed and nothing ever happens but at least you have it all written down in black and white for someone to see and also 
also too it reduces the amount of conflict that you could possibly have in the future even if you're working with a family member or a friend or someone that you really close to and you can trust you know over a period of time things change and I'm not saying the person will change but I'm saying that the business might change and they might feel or say or bring up a situation that could could potentially be conflicting for you and in order to prevent that you can have it all written down in black and white on a contract that they sign and you sign so you have something to reference back to and if it is something that you both agree on then you could just go ahead and revise the contract as needed and just sign it again and happy no problems right um and then on top of that it just covers your butt when it comes to actual conflicts that go on down the line so um let's say somebody says that they want to hire you for a commission right so in your contract you can state that if they're hiring me for a commission i'm doing x y and z or that i'm going to be working underneath them for this amount of time and that's it um but then they might halfway down the line say oh you know i don't want this project anymore i don't want to do it and then you haven't even got paid for it like that's really messed up but if you have a contract already written up then you just go ahead and reference that and say hey you said you're going to pay me for the time that i worked whether you finished or did not finish and that just covers you on that end and if not hopefully again our fingers crossed that it never goes to the situation that you take it to court and it's all in black and white so who are they going to trust so um definitely do contracts write it all down and you'll have no issues whatsoever and if you already haven't if you haven't um had any reason to have a contract i definitely recommend going online downloading a basic one adjusting it as needed and keeping it in your archives just in case because you never know when it'll pop up and when the chance comes then you have it already written up and you don't have to rush and do it now the last thing we're going to talk about with tracking everything and just keeping records are events and testimonies and things of that sort the reason why you want to hold on to all of that is so that you Proof for yourself and also proof for others that you were there, you came, you saw, you did it. Like you showed up and you rocked it. And that's like the whole reason why um, I have so many pictures for my events is because these are not just my memories, but they're also like proof to show like I know how to do display for my art shows and art fairs and events like that. And like here's the people that I ended up meeting at these events. These are the people that I sold artwork to, and there's a face to it. And this can also lead to testimonies, testimonials, which you can use on your website when you build one, or either to post up on Instagram, or either your Etsy shop to say, hey, these people love my artwork, they love my products, I did a great job, and you should buy from me too. <laughs> Um, so like that's the reason why you want to kind of keep track of the events and testimonies that you come across throughout the years and just kind of collect it all and keep a little folder on your computer for it because trust me, people are going to be like, mm, I don't know if I want to go to this artist and not have this other artist and then there's this other artist and that other artist. So it's going to really make you stand out from the rest and it's going to help you out with that. So to wrap it up definitely get your inventory together if you have it and if you're a new artist it's going to be easy because you might only have a couple of works already that you want to put down and i definitely recommend keep it all track it all even if it's pieces of work that you probably think you're going to cover up later on down the line and you paint over top of it at least you have it down and you can go back to it and swap it out and change it or whatever and um definitely keep all your contracts make contracts for future reference buy it as needed as you go along to your needs because you need to have those those are very important as a business owner um, and i hate to say business because we're artists and we're creatives but it's a business at the end of the day as well and just you know make sure that you're not going to be you're not going to get in trouble and to make sure that things are fair for you because honestly there are a lot of people out there who unfortunately do take advantage of artists and you don't want to be one of them or have to go through that and lastly make sure you definitely keep track of 
all your events and all your shows and all your memories and all these good times and also all the positive feedback that you get from your creations and from your artwork. So that's it for today's episode. 